Welcome back everyone. We are about to do some South Dakota curb strips. I actually got footage from a couple hunts before, but I'm having technical difficulties in the, making those a video. We're going to get some footage on the phone the old fashioned way. On to the first hole. Oh, that's only been a couple seconds. I literally just started swinging right where I was standing. And of course, the infamous bullet. This one looks dropped. Probably not going to keep this one in my pocket. Uh, curb strips, schools, just places you don't expect are where you're going to find all of these bullets. Let's keep going. Wow, guys. These are beautiful, old, wide curb strips. I pulled the plug, and this thing was screaming. I think I got a wheat scent coin spill. Sure enough, that's a wheat. Are you a wheat? I've never done that before. Yeah, that's a wheat. Is there more? There might only be two. Let's find out. Yeah, there's two of them. That's still neat. I've never done that before. When I clean them up in the roundup, I'll uh, show you guys the dates. This one looks like a 50-something. Wow! That's a good sign. I'm finding old stuff in these curb strips, and this just kicked it off. That's the way to start right there. On to the next hole. Get excited. I'm excited. Hey, guys. I went all the way down this curb strip, and I had to come back to where I found that coin spill. There's another cute weedy. This one looks older. Yeah, 41D. Oh, that's exciting. Let's see if there's anything else right here. This sure sounded like there could have been. Put this in my pocket. Alright, I think that was it for that hole, but I'm going to keep searching this area. On to the next hole. Hey guys. A few holes later, I got me another cute little weedy. It was under a root. It was deep. I can't believe the compadre hit that, but it screamed on it. Honestly, thought I might have been digging something big there for a second. Let's see if we can get a date off this real quick. Oh. Uh, come on. Looks like it's in the 30s. Uh, 37 D, I believe. Cute, cute coin. Oh, I'm excited. On to the next hole, guys. This is a good day. This has been a great day. Hey, guys. You see what I see? I'm laying it all cute in that hole. Oh, it's a big old ring. Oh, I hope it's real. That's heavy. That stone feels heavy. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that. It's coming right out. You guys see that? That is a pretty stone. This might be a junker. We don't know until we find that mark. Definitely got a silver patina on it. That's a pretty weighty little ring. This could be real. Oh. Let's see if I can't find a mark real quick before I put it in the pocket. I can't right now. We'll have to look at it in the end game when we clean it up. But that's either a fairly new junker that got tossed over here, or that is an old ring. I love it. I'm having such a good day. On to the next hole. Hey everyone. Alright, so it's my next free day. I had three long days of work and went right back to the curb strips. We tried one block, found nothing but clad. We are on First Street. Hoping that there's still some old, non-redone curb strips here. This is interesting. Look at this. I don't know what in the world. This is a little iron ball. I'm not entirely sure what that would have been. It's heavy, though. An iron one. I mean, it's the size of a musket ball, but it's iron. Interesting. Let's, let's see what more secrets are being held by this grass. On to the next hole. Welcome back guys. I am only a few feet away from finding that little iron ball, which my target was actually a copper penny. Check it out. First silver of the day. Beautiful little 34 Merc. Come on, focus. Oh, it's so shiny. 
I'm so happy. I just got so excited. That is a good sign. We're in a good strip, guys. On to the next hole. Hey, guys. Welcome to the roundup. It was a quick hunt. I probably should have filmed a little bit more, but it was mostly just clad. We, uh, we ended up on a corner of a street. It was a real old one. It was where I actually found the ring. And uh, a guy came out to see what we were doing, and he mentioned how on the end of that corner was real old home, old property, was city owned, and it was getting ready to get bulldozed. So we actually went on that, but it was so trashy. Uh, found a few Tootsie parts and a few old toys, a little salt, salt shaker head, that's about it. So without further ado, this is how we did. Look at all that clad. <clears throat> it was just full. These are all copper pennies. These are the infamous zincs that just fall apart. Dimes, nickels. This was actually interesting. I didn't film this. It's a tag has to do with patenting. I can't get a patent number off of it. It looks like it was shot too. You guys see that? I really couldn't tell you how old this is. There it goes. Focus. It was interesting though. Solid. Probably got shot off a piece of equipment. The old salt shakers. Bunch of iron. I still don't know what to make of this. Little iron ball. That's so random. And that was not my target by any means. I, I had iron completely knocked out when I was doing that strip. Old Tootsie Hood. Ah, old Tootsie Car Hood. This I found at that old house property. A whole bunch of trash. I spent most of the time just running down old curb strips and exploring the town. Nothing really beat that very first run though. That very first strip that I tried the other day. And four good looking wheats. I've never done that before. Not in that short amount of time. I know a lot of people don't get excited about wheat pennies, but... They're just a cute little coin. They're older. They're solid. That got me super excited. I was expecting to find some silver in that strip. But this is not the silver that I was going for. I'm not going to complain. My dad agrees. Pretty sure this is an older ring. Back when uh, Agate was still getting put into jewelry, necklaces. That color, though, I wasn't expecting it to have a sterling mark, and it does. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it. It really doesn't want to focus on that spot. It is marked sterling, so that was the first silver of the year, and this was the second. Focus camera, you can do it. I went to a high-def camera, but I have no way to actually uh, use the footage. There's nothing that I own is apparently compatible with that high def camera. So there you have it. First silver of the year, guys. Four wheat pennies, the usual pile of clad, and the oddities. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the ride. We did. We're going to be doing a lot more digging. We're still working on throwing some other activities into it. A little bit of hunting. A little bit of arrowhead hunting, gold panning, which will probably be more of a midsummer activity. We're going to go to the Black Hills. And if you liked and you're not already subscribed, subscribe and hit that bell icon if you want to see more and watch the older videos. Until next time.